Here is another germ cell tumor of the testis, the same type that we saw when we were looking at germ cell tumors of the ovary. This is a teratoma. A teratoma is a germ cell and therefore theoretically it can give rise to theoretically any type of tissue in the body. The more these tissue products look mature, like mature bone, mature cartilage, mature hair, mature sebaceous material, the more they are likely to be benign or non-malignant or non-invasive. The more the teratoma would produce immature cells, the uh, less nicely it would be expected to behave. Let's take a look at some sections through this mature teratoma of the human testis. Although if I told you this was a dermoid cyst of the ovary, there's no way you could prove me wrong, uh, is there? Here's one microscopic view. You could see some cysts in here. You could see perhaps some glandular structures. You could see that the cysts are lined by some epithelium. If you note this epithelium, you could perhaps see that there are some uh, goblet cells here mixed perhaps with some ciliated columnar cells like you would see in respiratory tract, upper respiratory tract. So this is respiratory epithelium. You could see smooth muscle. These are very mature looking tissues. In fact, if I told you this was from the lung, you'd probably have to believe me. Uh, here's another section through the teratoma. In which even at this power you could see cartilage. You could perhaps see some type of epithelium up here. And you could see either cartilage, possibly calcified, or perhaps even bone in here. This is classic textbook normal hyaline cartilage. This is a hyaline cartilage, perhaps either ossifying or at least calcifying in certain areas. This is all very, very, very mature tissue. In addition, here is some more epithelium. And you could see smooth muscle as well. And this epithelium... Oh, perhaps it could be respiratory, but it's at least a nice uh, uniform columnar type of epithelium like you would see in any mature uh, organ. This is a benign teratoma. Uh, teratomas are much more likely to be benign, however, in the ovary than in the testis. And I think a good general rule for testis is... Uh, most teratomas, uh, you should watch a lot, lot closer in the testicle than in the ovary. You know, a woman has a dermoid cyst, which is a benign cystic teratoma, a young woman. You normally don't worry about her too much. In the testicle, however, even if everything looks nice and uh, benign and mature, in other words, uh, I think uh, the teratomas of the testicle are viewed with much more caution. Thank you very much.